Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope this video find everyone doing well and in good spirits. And, stuff. and uh, this recipe I'm doing today is a, it's a this is another subscriber request. I have it on my uh, weekly meal. I've had it in there several times, and that's why I got all the requests to uh, show us how to do this. Because I made sure I told you it's not the uh, 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 what is it? It's not the hot water cornbread. This is much easier and just as delicious. The ones that you try are probably gonna say it's better. Okay, you just need just uh, three simple ingredients. That's the cornmeal. And guys, this is what type of cornmeal that I use. I have tried other ones, other types of brands of cornmeal with this, and that it was okay. But this is my preference right here: the Martha White Self Rising Cornmeal Enriched Hot Rise. They have a type of, of, they have a kind that says bolded and all that. I don't know what that is. I accidentally got it to know that I don't never want to. I mean, when I go in the store, I make sure I keep my mind on not picking up that cornmeal. I didn't care for it. I don't know what it's what it's about. People that use bolded cornmeal may know more about it than what I do. And it's hot rice. And guys, all I'm going to put in this, in this uh, meal is about, this is, um, is this is the thing camera on top? Uh, it's about, uh, this is probably about a taste, a little better than a grandma table, uh, tablespoon of sugar. You don't put too much sugar in this, guys, because of the corn, and I'm going to fry, I'm going to fry this cornbread, like I told you, if you like the hot water. You guys seen it in my weekly meal, you know what type I'm talking about. Okay, so I put the sugar in and just get it all incorporated into the meal. And then that's why I got water over here. Just don't know exactly how much I'm going to use. I have I have almost a couple of, I mean almost two cups, it may not be, of the cornmeal. And this is just regular tap water, guys. Just regular tap water. Now if your water is a little cold, come out your faucet and stuff, just sort of Sit it out and just let it warm up a little bit and just get you a little luke water. You don't have to have it hot for this. And what you got to make sure you get right here, guys, I think I told you this before, is your consistency. You make sure that your consistency of your cornbread is on point. You will always have some good uh, cornbread no matter what type you uh, prepare. And what I mean about that, guys, it cannot be too loose or too stiff. When you master that, you can cook just about any recipe it is with cornbread or biscuits or anything. But especially with your cornbread. I had some friends that I helped with my hot water cornbread, and I also showed my niece how to do this. But she always called this the hot water, so I just let her go with it. She would have told her mama. I don't know I clear up that. Ooh. But um, anyway, you just make sure you get your consistency right. Or you can make your uh, patties, your cornbread patties. And this meal is going to be like swelling a little. And by the time I get ready to go over there and fry it, if it um, swole some more and uh, need to be um, uh Loosen up some, I just put just a little bit more water. And guys, that's all to it with this here cornbread patty. Now I'm going over to the skillet. I you'll see how much uh um how much uh, oil I have in it to fry in the gear. What? I thought I heard you chewing in the camera. Please don't <laughs> so um we're going to go to the stove, and I usually fix it, uh, cook it on just like a medium. You ain't got to try to cook it too fast and all that stuff, fry it too fast, and it'll be perfect. Okay, guys, I'm going to go to the uh, skillet and heat up my uh, grease, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back over at the stove, and as usual, I almost let my grease. Every time I'm doing grease, I grease, you know. 
video. I uh, almost messed up. But uh, let me show you how I make the patties. Now you can make the patties whatever size that you want. But I always get my big tablespoon. I'm going to probably try to make two different sizes. Now you can uh, put it in your hand and drop it in. But a lot of times I just drop it in the skillet like this and kind of shape it around. And that amount of meal that I had in that cup for me and Tuck, that's leftovers. And guess who eat them? I eat all the leftover with the cornbread. That tea you see up there, I love um, I'm going to show you how I do it when I do it with my hand. It's a lot smoother. Okay, I'll stick your hand in this grease. I had just a little bit more uh, oil in my pan than I normally do. But I just went ahead on with it. It's not going to hurt anything. Probably be better. And I'm making this as a, a larger patty. Green, I put it in my hand to show you guys a different size. This one right here is a little smaller patty. Got to make like one. Like, on, on top of my wrist my hands. Okay. Okay, guys, you put those up there. Don't you try to turn them anything till they sit. Call it sit. Just trying to move something out of the way right now because I got it too close together. You know, I told you guys this might a blind. And if you can smell the smell of this cornmeal cooking like this, just those simple ingredients. Guys, old landmark, landmark, landmark style cooking is simple. Now, I, you know, my, this meal. I started using this uh, on my own and just came up with just frying the cornbread patties like this on my own. Because, you know, I, I told you back in the days when I first started, uh, uh, learned to cook back in the uh, 60s. Um, you know, they, they just, I do have to cook with what they had. And I, I started off cooking on stone grind meal and stuff and putting all the mediums like the flour sugar and eggs we used to put eggs and everything in it like when my mama would make these patties like this when she used a stone ground meal she would put eggs in it and uh uh you know she wasn't gonna put the hot water to it she would put eggs and sugar and flour and all that, that kind of stuff in it so guys i'm not gonna let you sit on here and, and watch this here cook i come back when it's time to turn to show you what it looked like when it's turning and then i'll let it cook and then i'll just finish up the cornbread patties I just wanted you to see how I drop them. Did you open the skillet enough stuff so you can see it? Mm -hmm. And the heat that, I may turn it up just a tad bit, but, um, cause they cook very, they cook kind of quick, but you want to make sure it get good and set before you uh, turn them. It's no big deal guys, cause once you turn it, the way this meal fries up, it's not no heavy uh, meal, it's enriched. It'll fry right on up. And, uh, you know, I told you guys, don't do not make a big deal out of things that you don't have to make a big deal out of in the kitchen. Learn to do stuff kind of basic, the basic ways before you venture off of trying. Uh, I'm talking about, I ain't talking about my season cook. Before you venture off trying certain type of recipes, I mean that's what that in it's real complicated and and in, in, in involved a lot of things. And make sure you kind of know what the different cooking techniques before you do that. And then cause you would know what to leave off and then you can get the times, adjust the times and the seasoning and all that stuff to your taste. But uh, I let my purpose be on here for the uh, the ones that, you know, 
just really trying to learn cooking. I'm just kind of looking under the edge and see. Got about another minute. But guys, I'll pick the pop off and I will be right back. Okay, guys, it's not ready to flip. At least I think. Okay guys, it's just as simple as that. You see how brown it was when I flipped it? Now if you want it a little browner, you can. But that's the reason, and that's another thing I want to point out, point out to you guys. Uh, if you like sugar in there, this is one bread that you don't put a whole lot of sugar in. Because when you fry it, it'll, get it it'll, it'll start to burn. I put just maybe about that, that tea, uh, tablespoon of half a sugar and it's going to be perfect. It ain't going to do nothing but enhance that flavor of this fried corn and stuff like that, guys. You will love this cornbread. And the ones that you fix it, make sure, because I already have a lot of you guys that send me emails and stuff thanking me, and I really appreciate you to the highs. You make this journey just so, so worthwhile when you call and, I mean, when you email me and take the time out of your day and tell me thank you. For the what for the recipes and the and the tips and stuff that I shared that was so um on point that just warmed my heart to the to the highest and I let you guys know that I always tell you guys thank you and let you know how much I appreciate you sharing it with because nowadays guys it's people just so easily to be mean and nasty and ugly to a person for no reason at all. And people always talking about that and letting that be big, but I don't, I don't, I don't really give that no play. I always try to, uh, I give, I try to give praise to the ones that showing God the love and kindness towards their fellow man and brother and care, because I am that type of person. Uh, you will see that. That's that. You will see that reflect out of me. I cares and I and I do. If I tell you I'm taking it to God and pray, I do. And if it's God with with myself, my whole family and all that, because you know we, I know I've been here long enough to know all the time. Uh, the answer, God may not say yes, the answer, but you can't let that bother you. You just got to keep on pushing on and praying and have faith. But he been sometimes he be saying not now, and then later on down the road you will figure out why he didn't do. What, he, what you had asked him to do at that time. Remember, just have faith and trust God. Just have faith and trust God. I mean, so many times I prayed for stuff. Like I have several siblings that done gone on. My mama and my dad and aunt, cousins and friends and all. And I prayed. Oh, I, I prayed so hard. I just didn't think I could stand it. But God said, God knew their time. And then I learned to pray, not God, I don't know, but you know, and I trust you. So, God, guys, let me uh, uh, start washing my bread before it burn, and I'll be back when the bread is finished. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, guys, this is the finished product of the old landmark style simple cornbread patties. You see how simple it was? And all you need to do now is fry you up a batch of this and see just how delicious it is. When you try it, don't forget to drop me an email and let me know. May May, <laughs> the cornbread was delicious because I feel if you fry it just like I showed you, which is so easy, it's uh, it will uh, turn out delicious. And uh, so it's not anything else, guys, I can tell you about this uh, cornbread. I had started talking over there at the stove. You know, I went back on what I was saying. Just wait till I was going to talk at my uh, weekly meal. But when the Lord laid something on my heart to say to you guys or to share with you guys, because this is a process, a learning process. We all, everything, one person going through with what's going on in the world, we all are going through it. So guys, let me end this video by saying 
Uh, what's a good comment for this? What's a good comment for? Have you ever prepared your cornbread like this? Or uh, either that video I had said, or I mean the uh, comment I had suggested when I was mixing up the uh, meal and everything. And you can also sneak in there and let me know what type of meal you guys use. Uh, I mean, what brand of meal you guys use when it comes to separating cornmeal. So maybe I can try something out. Of, uh, either when I'm in the store and I can't find my brand, that's what I normally do. If I, so, if I remember a friend or someone else have told me that a uh, certain brand is good, I'll try it. That's the reason I have tried so many things, guys. Some good, some not so good. But most of all, they was good. Most of all, they was good. So guys, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Remember to leave me your thumbs up, comment below, and share out my videos to your family and friends if you in, in you know if you enjoy the guys. So um remember to use your common sense, think positive. And remember, may may love you guys. Bye. Bye, you guys.